And so we have the standard Nora early chapter battle theme for this one. Now, I should mention, I need to keep Niles around. There are a few enemies that are going to show up on turn 8 that I kind of want Niles to do something with. So, yeah, I need to keep him alive until then. Preferably, I'd like to keep him alive the whole time, but for now... Yeah, Baruka's speed is not all that great. Three damage is actually kind of worrying. Oh yeah, also, there are a bunch of Dragon's Vein points here that you can use to flood the rivers to make it harder for the enemies to get to you, and I think I should probably do that. Careful of the Invisible Swordmaster. We don't want to lure him before we're ready. And as much as I want Azura to get some support points up with Kaze, I think we should do this. This is a good starting point. Dragon's Vein! And instant water. Yeah, boon to farmers everywhere. Oh wait, now Kaze can't get to those guys. So you do three. Oh, that's a, only a tiny boost to hit their hit rate. I'll still equip that Steel Shuriken. Next, the Archers. As long as Effie equips the Javelin, she should be fine here. That is just out. And I don't exactly want Jacob to get hurt by those archers too badly, because then, yeah, bad things could happen. I also want Niles to go down this side of the map eventually, but for now I'll hold off on it. <laughs> Effie is still... her defense is not eh, as much as I would like, let's just say. I don't want too many of those archers to. I want them to all attack Effie if it all possible. But like, okay, three times two, six, six, twelve, eighteen. Oh, that's that's enough for her to survive, I think. Now the real issue is those Pegasus knights, especially that Falcon knight there. Because in my last playthrough, I had a super overpowered axe user to take care of them, but here... Oh, also, uh, I haven't checked this out yet. Kamui is upgraded to the Grim Yato, which is very, very good. 11 might, 5 crit, plus 10 avoid, defense resistance plus 2. That is a really, really good weapon. Someone's going to feel like she should actually go here. And maybe get some support from Niles. Now, meanwhile... Oh, I really want to kill those Falcon Knights. Here, though, I think I could just go for an attack stance with Charlotte and Benny. I still think Benny's a kind of silly name, but it does fit him. Now you double her. What does more, Brunhilde or...? I think that'll do more even with their higher resistance, actually. Meanwhile, you just give your S support bonus to Kamui there. And you stay where you are. Okay, let's go! Ah, this enemy is so frustrating. Enemy healers, always irritating, and it'll get even more irritating later in the chapter, trust me. Now hopefully Kaze can, uh, it's just me or do those, like, wheat fields there look a little awkward in their models? Fare thee well. They're very, like, I don't know, like, very square. So hopefully Kaze gets some good experience out of this. 
because I intend to use him quite a lot since he's one of the few ninjas you can get on this route. I believe Laszlo can reclass to ninja, but uh, Kaze is one of the only natural ninjas you get. And he's definitely a very effective mage killer. I like these physical characters with high resistance they give you. I also quite like the look of this map. As for like the map the itself call. in overall design, uh, I'm not exactly so fond of this chapter. You'll see why soon. I just realized it didn't account for the possibility of dual strikes. Let's just hope Effie can handle it. Now you see me, now you don't. I thought that would miss. Okay, let's... Wow, that is an excellent combat. And that's an enormous crit rate on Charlotte. All against female enemies. Oh yeah. We're safe now. <laughs> yes, we are. That is not going to be enough. Unless we get a crit or something. I don't know what Leo just said there. And yeah, we if you look closely you can see Kamui's Yato is has a little bit of a purple ore around it. Because it's the slightly purplier Yato. Thank you. I'm sure Niles just likes to torture those things statistically. Alright, come on. I wonder if I can one round you. What I was gonna say is I might want to use Charlotte's like skill against these characters to determine if they're male or female. I think they're female, but like again, considering that Falcon Knights can be either gender now. And as long as there are no enemies in Kana's range, Kana won't do anything. So let me just check. Uh you can't get to any of them. Huh. Yeah, I definitely want to get rid of most of you. And Niles with his bow is not exactly the most effective thing in the world here. 24 and 8. Is that... That's exactly enough, but that eight, that eight is quite a shaky hit rate. And your heart seeker only works in adjacent enemies, I just realized. So, yeah. Could try Brunhilde here to weaken that one. Oh, but that'll prevent Leo from attacking. Maybe for now, uh, technically you need the experience from the kill more. So let's just take you out. I'll do what no one else can. Too easy. Yeah, she definitely sounds like I mean I know she's Stephanie Shea, but definitely uh, fairly obvious from her voice. Now, Leo and Niles aren't really supported yet, and Kamui does more. Interesting. Guess I have to go with Kamui then. This is most likely not going to kill unless I get very, very lucky. Yep, thought so. I need to be careful that Niles doesn't get mo mobbed and killed, because right. if that happens, then... You don't exactly... let's see. Well, I know that I can potentially kill you. 
wow, Dragonstone does barely anything. Let's see. Let's at least go for this now. Okay, come on, somebody. Get a crit, please. Nope. At least you are almost guaranteed to die now. Though I kind of doubt that... Okay, so they are girls, because Charlotte has an enormous crit rate against them. <laughs> and that does more, but... Yeah, I'd rather have the better chance of hitting. Yeah, go go for that. You are in good hands. You try hurt, cowboy child. Cowboy <sighs> smash all face. Oh no, twenty three. Her stats are so much better than the male one. It's ridiculous. Uh, I just really, really hope... Wait a minute. I was about to say two of them can't attack Niles at once, and then I realised they could try and dual strike him. Yeah, Kimui's not the best idea here. Now, a the an unmasked crit would be decent here. Nope, yeah, I thought she'd miss. Speaking of which, uh... Yeah, I need to heal Effie now. 17 and 5, not quite enough. Do you have anything better you can equip? Ah, uh, Blessed Lance is even worse. Going for it anyway! Yeah, at least that's a level up for her. Am I too strong? Well, that was a good level up. But I, speaking of people, I hope get good level ups. It's Mozu time. Be careful. Sabella said that I should get these two up to an A plus support so Mozu can become a general. I really like the idea of Mozu as a general, so that sounds like something that I might plan on doing. I just realised that Jake has got the Enfeeble Staff. That could have come in handy for that last boss, I just realised. Might come in handy for a couple of bosses here too. And then we have these things. Uh, let's just hang back for a bit. I want, I'll think about how to deal with him later. I think I should probably Let's use go. Benny, even though he's quite high level already. Okay, I... Uh. This, is this one thing this chapter is good at? It's being long and drawn out. We can do this together. You'll see what I mean later on. Or if you've watched the uh, Hoshido. Oh, crap! That I wasn't really expecting. Kamui, protect your husband, or please. I should have used Nosferatu. Ooh. Or you can... Oh, you are smart. And I don't like you for that. No, don't steal our experience, you jerk! NPC-itis compel baby face toucher to kill and waste experience! I hate NPC-itis. I really, really do. 
So look, that could have been a level up for Baruka, could have been a level up for Charlotte, but no! No, they just had to... Uh, I hate NPC-itis. Yeah, and I can't turn him into a blue unit this chapter at all, so... NPC-itis is incredibly frustrating, just saying. And speaking of frustrating, Azura is going to die if I keep her there. So what I want to do is... Although that's quite a lot of... You don't have like darting blow or anything like that. Let's just see if Benny and Charlotte can take you. Everyone else needs to get the heck away, though. And I want to get rid of most of these enemies before the next, uh... There are a bunch of spear fighters down here. What's the turn? Uh, only turn three. Okay, that's fine. So, how much do you take from them? You take some kind of decent amount of damage from them. However, you can't actually reach. You can potentially get a jewel strike, but it shouldn't be too bad. They have decent resistance, though. Not as good as their um, defense, though, so I still think a Leo pair-up would do quite well. These two, on the other hand, need to retreat and get healed immediately. While Niles needs to make his way towards this side of the map, for reasons that will become apparent later. Meanwhile, I guess Effie needs to, uh... 19 and 5, that's not enough. But that is... That means Mozu might not get it. Uh. But you are irritating, so I want to take you out quickly. And I just realized, Mozu's right at home in this chapter. Return the favor. I kind of wish that uh, Mozu's join chapter looked more like this. 11 times 2, huh? I really want to heal them down there, but I also want Mozu to take out some archers. If I grab that javelin, and then that's still not enough. And you are stuck there, okay. Oh, I guess maybe. I'll protect you. Let me at him. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> Definitely want to mend Odin, though. Odin's got some not bad HP for a mage, although I may have used a Seraph rope on him. I forget if I did or not. Meanwhile, Kazir just... just You just be a ninja somewhere else. Okay, that 7% crit rate is worrying, because in the other... Okay, that's good. In the other attempt I had at this chapter... Oh, yeah! Leo, I'm glad you're on our side in this playthrough. <laughs> I do not look forward to fighting you on the Hoshido side. Baruka, be better, please. In some ways, it's actually a little refreshing that her stat growth has not been fantastic, because Wyvern Riders are usually quite overpowered in the series. And... Really? Really, Charlotte? I mean, I kind of expected not criticaling, but not, um... Yeah, Charlotte's definitely the more offensively minded of the, um... Of the fighters. I mean, Arthur's quite the powerhouse too, but he's a little more defensive. Oh no. Okay, yeah, I need Benny there as quickly as I can get him there. Thankfully, I think Benny can plug that gap, uh, and give Charlotte assistance at the same time. Allow me to introduce you to my friend, Benny! I really like that crit rate, though. Crit plus 20, and then you also have Gamble. 
Yeah, her skill is better than Arthur's as well, but yeah, she is very frail. It's kind of funny how the fighter class here says high HP but low defense. Arthur begs to differ. Uh, Benny should be able to take it. Come on, Charlotte, get your revenge. You can crit. I know you can. Well, okay, if you had not hit there... No, you weren't, Charlotte. Stop, stop acting. And let's just get rid of you. Let's Need to keep track of the turn number because I actually know where some... Yeah, uh, my first... My run of this chapter on the Hoshido route was totally blind. My run of it here... Not so much, and therefore I know what to expect on turn 8. And it's now turn 4, okay then. Glad Effie's getting a chance to get some experience though. That's I guess the good thing about Paralogs and the Nor route, is that they let you get some experience and supports up on some people who... Like, without really needing to stretch your, like, support, to, not supports, but like your army too thin. Oh, uh, that's terrifying. That is also terrifying. Or I can just get rid of you. I'm impressed. Yeah, I'm impressed too. Good assist, Baruka. I almost thought I got her name wrong for a second there, but I didn't. Of course, when two certain somebodies appear, I have to make sure to not kill them. Well, how earth? Oh, I skipped your. Wait a minute. Wait, Tonebreaker is on Butler in this game? That's really interesting. Like, it's actually much... It's it's quite useful, actually, because butlers use physical attacks, so they do more damage to mages. That's really interesting. I didn't expect that. So, Tomebreaker is a maiden butler skill in this game. Again, that was pretty unexpected, actually. Oh, that's just off. You know, I guess maybe I could do this. Good luck. I'm glad Brunhilde has infinite uses, because if this was an earlier game and the weapons didn't have unlimited uses, I'd be very worried about using that up too much. And now, Odin Dark shall extinguish you! Uh, with uh, Nosferatu, I guess? Yeah, go with Leo. Get some supports up with your lord. No one else can. Power overflowing. Yeah, the ninja mask definitely suits him. Uh, gaining magic might have been good there, but gaining defense is decent. So, I guess I'll send Kamui there, and Niles, you need to make sure that you are ready for, let's just say, something. Also, hello there, enemy. Uh, is her nugget? Yeah, her nugget is equipped, because she's holding it, obviously. So, what's your... Okay, you don't double. That's good. Okay, come at us, enemies! Yeah, now Charlotte's not going to be that great on the assist here, but at least the enemies can barely hurt Benny. Gotta be careful, though, because uh, there are going to be some magic users incoming soon. And Benny would not... Actually, Benny's resistance is decent, so... Actually, maybe he will do well against them. Kaze will need some heals soon. And Azura levels up off an assist. We don't see that often. And yes, that's going to help. At level 10, Azura learns Inspiring Song. 
She reached it a lot later here because she joined a lot later on the Norm route, but Inspiring Song gives a massive stat buff to anyone she sings for, kind of like, um... Amazing. Kind of like Special Dance in Awakening, basically. And that stat buff is often everything. Baby face toucher, feel compelled. And Dragon Fang doesn't look as cool when you're already a dragon. Feel compelled to steal experience. Okay, I'm actually worried about him being on that side because reinforcements do spawn from there eventually. I mean, he's pretty crazily powerful, but... And Odin should give him a very good magic stat, but still. Okay, let's shuriken you. Here we go. I wish I had a, uh, what are they called? The dual weapons? A dual axe would be great on, although I think it's only for clubs. Dual club would be great on Charlotte at this point, because that would make her do really well against sword users. As it stands, ah, uh, no. But that's not bad. Uh, this is actually kind of tricky, though, because I can't actually set up an assist uh, for this turn. I can, however, weaken you. Gotta keep track of what turn it is, because again, on turn 8, something special happens. <laughs> yeah, his speed is like nothing, but his strength, skill, and defense are good, so he's basically typical armor knight. His strength is not as good as, uh, as Effie's, though. I think Effie has more luck but Effie has less skill and resistance. So yeah, it all does balance out in various different ways. Okay, do not want Charlotte to go... yeah. Unless... Because I'm in... Sh oh no, I'm going to keep her separate for the time being. I could have moved Kaze behind and actually attacked with the Shuriken with him, but I want to get supports up between Charlotte and Benny as quickly as I can, because otherwise things are not going to go well. I've heard very, very bad things about Benny's child's power log. Very bad things. Speaking of bad things, uh... Maybe this might work? And Wyvern uppercuts! Done. She's getting a little more experience, which is good. I definitely want Leo on hand for turn 8. For now, you shall live to serve and heal your master. We won't give up. Uh, I won't give up gives me bad flashbacks to a certain game. I won't give up! Can't lose! Not when I'm so close! It all depends on me! Yeah, that was my best impression of that character, who is horrible and must be erased from everyone's memory. I have to be careful not to kill everything before these two show up, though. And yes, I said two. I think you know who I'm talking about. Uh, Kaze stays there. Ah, uh, you! I'll get to you later, you annoying jerk. But at least this is, well, yeah, only... Three damage. Wow, she actually hits! That's amazing! I'm kind of worried about Kana. Okay, we're on turn six. We need to delay things for a few more turns, because if we kill everything before turn eight, then... Uh, yeah, we will miss out on a few special things. Oh, your hit rate's exactly the same, so... Might as well go with this. We'll be fine. Why did Charlotte have a better hit rate on the enemy phase then? Good. <laughs> I like Benny's voice as well. Huh, 11 damage, that's not good. I really like for you to actually get the kill, but Ugh, twelve and ten is just not enough either. But if Charlotte moved away, 
I mean, alternatively, I could actually do that, and then... Maybe that's a better idea at this point. Oh, then I get... Though I do get to double attack you. Okay, let's go for that, then... And useless poison. I just realized that I could have in the previous chapter used Poison Strike to weaken the boss down to 1 HP because that can't actually kill. So yeah, I could have done... We survived. I don't think it's different. <laughs> we survived! That's a very fast delivery of that line there. And we're still on this turn. Good. Niles has to get ready. Uh, no pair up. Not yet. Okay, no one moves at all. Interesting. And now, it is time to be very, very cheap. And most likely miss. At least you get the, um, unmask ability. Yeah, Benny's getting a lot of experience here. Uh, you take Charlotte, you switch places, you get sung for, because I really want Charlotte to get more experience here, and oh she will, it's all right. I love that huge axe on her. I, win. <laughs> I thought she wouldn't level up off that. So, more enemies will be incoming soon. I just realized, yeah, these ones, I want to keep them away from here. Because there are a couple of enemies who aren't going to spawn until turn 7-ish. Oh, actually, I'd like Azura over that side of the map uh, at that point. <laughs> That's annoying. Okay, these enemies all start moving now. And here's where this map gets a little troublesome because... Oh, I'd actually quite like to have Benny here. Well, at least Benny is taking nothing from these archers. Yeah, he's leveling up quite a lot. <laughs> I still don't see why he starts at level 15 and Charlotte only starts at level 12, was it? Because that's just a kind of... Yeah. Just realized that Kaze here is using daggers and not um, shuriken. You're quite skilled. Yeah, he is. I guess more so than Effie. Okay, good. Kaze's caught up with everyone. Remain calm. Now he's got some fairly decent stats at this point. Okay, so I don't think I can get you over there in time, can I? Uh, yeah, this, these enemies here worry me. I kind of wanted to get Effie down there to stall them, but not sure if that's the best idea. Niles needs to be down there for, let's just say, reasons. Actually, maybe Tone Breaker. Although, he could be dual striked by the boss's katana if that happened. So... You have 28 attack. 
You have 14 defense, so... Actually, maybe that wouldn't be such a bad thing. He... Okay, yeah. Oh, he does a bit more with the Flame Shuriken. This can't crit, but I could try that. And I just realized I really need to make sure that these enemies who are showing up here don't, like, kill themselves, because I want to get both of them. Actually, I think maybe sending Kamui this way is not a bad idea as well. And, oh, okay, good, they can't attack Azura. That's <laughs> why they could. So at the end of turn 8, something kind of special happens. And this is what I was worried about with Benny. At least he doesn't go a lot of damage back with the Javelin. Oh, not quite a level up for Charlotte. Yeah, I thought you'd do that. And yeah, that's not actually all that much of a... Uh, of damage on Jacob. And Tone Breaker! Flame Shuriken almost looks like Origami for a second. And yeah! <laughs> These two show up on turn 8. The obligatory Bandit Brothers, who've been a thing in the series since Fire Emblem 6. But for the first time in the series, these two are actually recruitable. Sort of. You need to capture them first, and that's why I had Niles hey, here. Bro. <laughs> I don't know. They gave them, like, stereotypical dumb voices in this one, but you know what, they... They could have given them even worse voices, so I'm kind of fine with that. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. They are both after Baby Face Toucher. <laughs> you want to catch a dragon, huh? But instead, you will hopefully end up being caught by us. So, we've got Lloyd and Llewellyn, the two Berserker twins. They are literally identical twins, and that their stats are completely identical. But I'm gonna need to- oh, and they can actually do this. I thought it would be really cool if they started out paired- if they started out paired up. That would just- that would be cool. So I need to capture them with Niles. So I need to make sure that I can weaken them enough for- I don't like the prospect of a crit there. Yeah. But Nosferatu can't crit. Interesting. Unfortunately, I think I'll only be able to capture one of them per turn. Because I really wish I could get a zoo. Unless... I may be able to capture both in one turn. So... So that gives you zero crit. Except that does 23 and 11. That does 34. And no chance of a crit on either of them? Perfect! Hey, 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 hey! That's Odin Dark's child you're talking about! Speaking of which, I think Odin Dark would probably have much more interesting names in mind than Kana for, uh... Odin would have much more interesting names in mind than Kana for a child, but oh well. So... I need to... yeah. That's a little scary. Okay, Niles needs to go where you are, Effie, so... Let's see now. Hand axe, 16 plus 14. That is exactly 30. And then 8. And then Niles does 9. Except Leo has a 10% crit rate. I don't trust that at all. And you have high crit rates too. So if I do 14 and then I go for a hand axe attack... For another 16. Yeah, that's a little a little better. So let's weaken this guy. 
Oh yeah, by the way, something that I was going to mention about the name changes of these two. So, reason why I thought I'd have something interesting to say about Llewellyn, guess what? Llewellyn is my middle name. So the closest thing that I have to a Fire Emblem namesake is this guy. Yeah. Thankfully, neither of them crit. Okay, so firstly... Wait, firstly, I've got to select... Ah! Oh, okay, that's fine. I can use the rubber bow. Alright then. You! You're under arrest for attempted dragon kidnapping! You're coming with me, pal! I guess that's it. Finally, we captured a boss! So, you cool your heels in a jail cell for now. I don't trust that 3% crit rate. Though, that would do... Uh, wait a minute. Actually, a crit would not kill, so 16 and then plus another 6 would be 22. Okay then. But for now... So I could quite easily just... Um, that is also a crit rate. Okay then, going for this first. There's an archer down there, is there? I'll deal with you later. For now... I think Niles has to hit a fairly shaky accuracy check in order to capture, so... Niles? Okay, thankfully in sp Oh god, I didn't... Did I just put Azura in the wrong place? No, thankfully Niles can still do this. Oh, and he has a perfect hit rate regardless. Yeah, thanks to that inspiring song. Thank you, Azura. So... Book him, Niles! I chose capture, didn't I? I've had... <laughs> Cut off by the feet quote. <laughs> we might let you see him afterwards. And... We have arrested both of the Bandit Brothers. Now the job is convincing them to fight by our sides, which might be a little difficult, but... Uh... Yeah, Leo, protect your future waifu. Excellent. Oh, no level up. And I guess perhaps that is enormous overkill, but I don't mind. Yeah, you can get a better look at the purple Yato there. And Azura can get attacked. But not for long. You know, if that guy kamikazes himself, we actually end the chapter now. I'm not, in f I'm not really sure if I even want to end the chapter now, because uh, some characters here, especially Charlotte, would appreciate some extra experience. Oh, but... Why is... Why is your hit rate so bad? No, seriously, why is your hit rate that bad? Hit minus 10. I still don't see why your hit rate is that bad. Well, the Steel Axe has a bad hit rate on its own right, but still. I want Charlotte to level up, but this is technically safer. Definitely safer. Yes, you are! That was scary. <laughs> Not really, but for Benny I'd believe that. Okay, Invisible Swordmaster, let's see what you've got! We won't lose. I get the feeling this guy didn't even have a boss theme the last time that I fought him. Oh, okay. No reinforcements yet. Huh. I 
would actually quite like the reinforcements to come this time because we need ex all the experience we can get on them unless the reinforcements are exclusive to Birthright. It's possible. I mean, it is possible. I'm actually going to just maybe box this guy in and unequip everyone's weapons, except for you. We are boxing you. So let's just box him for a moment. And I should have healed Effie. So I think more enemies are going to spawn down there. Let's see if there are reinforcements. I don't like your crit rate! Okay, here we go, reinforcements. Right then. Uh, yeah. So as much as I ranted about the reinforcements last time, I am actually kind of grateful for the reinforcements here. I read, I merged those two together and I got Tiger Festival. But that guy is not Richard. Uh, as much as I would really like Baruka to maybe... 85% hit on a Swordmaster with an axe. That's fantastic. However, there is a sniper down there, so Baruka needs to stay away from him. Oh, right, yeah, no, um, dual strike because his weapon is unequipped. No there we go! You are not gaining speed. That worries me. Okay, good, unchecked. Okay, so, because I've heard there's a skill on the Norbrut that is like an anti grinding skill. They sometimes give reinforcements, but not seeing it here, which is good. Now, there are going to be more enemies incoming soon. So, we need to keep on our toes for them. Also, Kana, I need to watch out for you because there are reinforcements incoming up there. You do a lot of damage with magic. And you're a little less effective in battle against men. I guess I could maybe try something. Now it'd probably be best if I healed. Neither of you have any vulnerabilities or anything. And these two, uh, you stay around here. I hated the last chapter for its reinforcements, but this one might actually be quite useful because there are no, there's no skirmish grinding on Nor. I still need to heal you. Uh, somebody needs to take Azura off his hands. And separate. Okay, yeah, I want Charlotte to get some experience here, which is why I'm going to heal her now. That sounded really insincere. And there's a sniper down there. I don't like that sniper. But I don't like that even more. That's terrifying. That is really terrifying. That is really, yeah, your speed is really good. 
I think I may need to actually, uh... I might need to Leo you. 18 plus 8. That's actually not quite enough. Though knowing this, one of you is probably going to crit. Is that going to be enough to... Oh, it is. Okay. Let's see how good Leo's growths are. Actually, he already leveled up once, I think. More to come. Oh, that's okay. See, Leo to me feels like a little more balanced of a pre-promote than, let's say, certain other people. Like, um, um, a few pre-promotes of the Hoshida route. This is my mission. What do you know? Okay, that amount of experience is useful for you. Okay, good, you can go all that way. And this shall finish you. Did you just say Vic and then got cut off? That that was weird. Maybe a glitch or something. That sniper worries me. Let's see, 22 defense is good. But... Odin Dark shall use his Dark Nosferatu of Dark Darkness. I'm still a little worried about Kana. Oh, he still heals, that's good. You know, I just realized that thing that Odin says, another fell hand, that is very similar to the name of, of one of the songs in Shadow Dragon. The enemy phase map theme for the later chapters of Shadow Dragon literally translates as more demonic hands. So, yeah, in some ways, um, Odin's quote there may be referencing Shadow Dragon. Hmm. I think you... wait a minute. Uh, yeah, actually Veruca needs this the most. Except she may not hit. But we can always try. And I used the wrong weapon. Yep, and miss. Oh uh, well, you can't win them all. Now I say that, this is probably going to miss too. Now there are actually quite a lot of reinforcements in this chapter. Yeah, I know because this is technically not a blind run exactly, because I already did this on the other routes. Uh, Effie has been getting very good lately. Her speed is actually very decent for an armor knight. Very decent. So, who wants to... Uh, I don't like that, but... I just realised. And I also just realised I basically said I don't like that but there. <laughs> How much do you do with your, um... Tone Breaker? I do want to heal, though. For now, though, let's go with this. This is still a really good song, though. I was disappointed that it didn't play for any longer than the... I think I should have used the Poison Strike on you. Just realised. Well, that's not quite enough. For now, though, let's not attack you. Let's... let's... hopefully chop you. I'll do my best. Thank you, Charlotte, for hitting. Who's next? <laughs> and you realize you just threw your axe right at Benny. <laughs> uh, I'd like more speed. Even though your speed is still miles better than Arthur's. I might need to buy more staff soon. That's the problem with paralogs, they do kind of drain your staff resources. Well, that's a problem with reinforcements, with reinforcement heavy chapters in general. Uh, let's see. Uh, Grim Yasuo? Let's go for that. You shall protect your child! And again, I am worried about the prospect of reinforcements from there, which I know appear eventually. Because Kana's resistance is decent, but it's not like really, really fantastic. 
Okay, if Kamui misses that, Odin Dark is down. Is that a risk that I want to take? I really don't think that it is, but... Ah, oh, going for it! Come on, Kamui, don't fail like Mel Kamui did last time. There we go. You, uh, passed your test. <laughs> <laughs> Much power! Oh, that's good. I think about it. I kind of really wish that Mail kind of inherited Odin's hair because then he'd look almost like a Super Saiyan, and that would be pretty amazing. I think I'll actually send Niles up there to where Kana is. Let's go. Oh, by the way, speaking of Kana, uh, so yeah, if you married your male avatar to Niles, because he is the homosexual romance option in this game, you don't get this paralogue at all! How did you do that? Kind of annoying they handled it that way for players who want to do that. Oh boy, this is gonna hurt. Oh, pain. Yeah, that is why I was worried about Kana. Uh, let's see. There is a sniper and there are some Nagi Nasas. Yeah, your hit rate is incredibly bad against that thing. Yes, I'm calling that one a thing. One HP. Really? Oh, I was going to poison strike this. They're basically our sages, but yeah. So she can go all the way up there, and if I go there, then... That is not going to be enough movement. I want Charlotte to get experience, but uh-oh. Uh... That is not good. However, if I heal Charlotte, maybe I should see if this hits first. Because if this misses, then yeah, I'll, I'll need to heal her even more. But that jump attack means obviously it hit. Also, her axe just clipped through the riverbed there. It's funny how I'm actually liking this with the reinforcement rush a lot more on Nor than Hosha, but I mean, this is one of our few opportunities to level up our lower level characters. <laughs> Speaking of level ups, that's a very good one. Though his strength and magic leave little to be desired, but his defense is pretty good for a healer. And I just realized that Odin Dark can get hit by that. His resistance is not exactly the, the best in the world. And there are going to be some more enemies coming. So... These two should stay vigilant. Oh, speaking of staying vigilant... At least these two have enough movement to keep up with each other. I guess I can equip the javelin. And Niles will head over there. Except you just go for Charlotte again. Okay, more reinforcements. Kana, be careful. Baby face toucher likes Smash Face. Baby face toucher definitely likes Dragon Fang, though. Yeah. And I said that I was going to poison strike you, so I'll do it this time. Or it could just end here, that's good too. Your battle has ended. <laughs> ended twice. Uh, 
Uh, I guess maybe? And then an assist from my guess shot. No, I think Benny will be a better assist. Except Charlotte needs the healing more, but oh well. I'll do my best. <laughs> that happy dance is really, really bizarre. So we have a sniper down there. Just what we always wanted. Let's see if... I suppose I can just go for Brook Hilda here. Oh, we're actually in the hills now. I suppose we could do that. I think reinforcements just keep coming for quite a while. Uh oh! Uh, that was poorly thought out. Let's see what death has to offer. Uh, not really, because this is casual mode. Forgot about the jewel strike. At least baby face touch and we'll get revenge. Oh, I think that must have been a crit. Sorry, I skipped that. Okay, let's hope this does okay. Please dodge, nope. Ow. Uh, why didn't you attack the sniper? Probably because you wouldn't one-shot it, but still. Ugh, I don't like that hit rate, but I want you to beat at least one of those. I guess, technically speaking... Yeah, you can take this one. I shouldn't have used the javelin. Did I get stronger? Well, you're about to. Times two is just enough to kill you, right? For now, I'll just have Benny Javelin. Maybe Mosu and Jacob will get their S support after this. I just realized that to me, it almost feels like... It almost feels like the child paralogues are more worth it for the experience you get out of it than the actual child characters. Mission accomplished. At least at this point. I will say that I probably won't be using the child characters all that much unless I find any that I really, really like. Or at least any of them inherit some enormous stats or something like that. But other than that, like, don't really expect me to use child characters all that much. Uh, let's see. This may end up sporting more reinforcements. And Benny's hogging a lot of the experience. And wasted jewel strike. Uh, 
and I wanted you to attack Odin. We won't give up. Uh -huh. No disrobing that time. Glory unyielding. But he still gains glory unyielding. Uh, that's that's actually pretty pathetic. I was, I'm sorry I ever worried about you. Uh, Dragon Fang, please? Nope. Okay. Because that's going to be more reinforcements, isn't it? Or not. Oh, it's turn 17 already. That's way past reinforcement bedtime, I guess. Reinforcement end time. I need to give Charlotte an axe with better accuracy now I think about it. Sorry about this. But another one bites the dust. Again, no speed, which is interesting. At least she's kind of caught up in levels with everyone else. Benny is caught up in levels a bit too much, but... Huh. I wonder... Maybe... No, I'll probably still go for Kana. Yep, still going for Kana. So experience stolen. At least Babyface actually gets to finish the fight for us. And it's over! Penny and Charlotte got the heroes. Which is good because I want them to get to an S quickly. And it's done. They're all gone. Kana, I don't think that was a dream. Yeah. Huh? By the way, I think I heard that Kana is voiced by a girl. And you protected her very well. A roaring saying, I want Smash Face. No, you're not. No. Far from it. Being able to turn into a dragon is amazing. And for some reason, she didn't tell him that. Yes, Kana, your parents are two of the most amazing people in the history of everything. Yes, but you must not let the face-touching dragon within take over, or you will feel compelled to touch every face in sight. Thank you. I'm so sorry. <sighs> Her world is pretty dangerous. Oh. Most of this dialogue is identical to the male version, which is why I'm not commenting on it as much. Yeah. <laughs> ah! And, huh? of course. Yeah. <laughs> Two whole worlds. And that's why we could definitely use his power. And once again, the premise of some DLC that was revealed for Japan recently. We can protect you. And I think he'll be seeing his friends soon. Yes. Well? Alright. Yes. And definitely a lot of stuff to catch up about with your father. Mama? And that's still a nice line. It's interesting just how differently I reacted to the reinforcement part of the chapter on both routes. On Birthright, I felt that it just pointlessly dragged out the chapter because we already had off-chapter skirmishes for grinding anyway. For Nor, though, the reinforcements were the rare amount of grinding we actually get in this route, so I was fine with it. Interesting. I guess we'll see you next time for... Apparently the Black Pillar, which I hear is one of the most least well-received chapters in the entire Nor campaign, so that should be interesting. See you then.